in the name of Jesus. So I say there's a time for everything. And God works in times and in seasons. Hallelujah. God works in times and in seasons. But the time of God is not the same as our time. God's time is not the chronos that we follow on our watches. But God's time is the Kairos time, which is spirit time. I will be child of God. And in God's time, there is a time for everything. And in God's time, there is a season for everything. Because God works in time and in season. I will be child of God. I will be child of God. Let us go into the word of God because of time. Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. I want to release people early, but I want God to do everything that He has told me is doing in the service today. Genesis chapter 8 verse 22 While the earth remains seed time and harvest cold and heat winter and summer and day and night shall not cease Hallelujah. May God bless the reading of his word was this holy. This is God's promise to men. We serve a covenant keeping God. What is a covenant? A covenant is a promise. So this is one promise of God. Hallelujah. This is one promise of God. That the Lord entered into with us. The offspring of Abraham. He said. While the earth remains. Seed time and harvest. Cold and heat. Winter and summer. Day and night. Shall never cease. Shall never cease. Shall never stop. Hallelujah. Amen. God made this covenant with us. Meaning there is a time for seed time. And there is a time for harvest. I will be child of God. There is a seeding time and there is a harvest time. Now the Lord is making a promise that seed time and harvest time they shall not cease. Cold and heat they shall not cease. Winter and summer they shall not cease. Day and night, they shall not cease. What does it mean when you say they shall not cease? It means shall be continuous. Are you being child of God? It shall be continuous. There shall be night. There shall be day. There shall be cold. There shall be heat. There shall be winter. There shall be summer. There shall be seed time. And there shall be a harvest. As long as there is cold, there is going to be warmth. Are you child of God? As long as there is winter, there is going to be summer. As long as there 
says there is day, there shall be night. As long as there is seed time, there shall be harvest. Oh, somebody not getting this. Somebody not getting this. As long as there is seed time, there shall be a harvest. I don't know what seed you have sown, but whatever seed you have sown, there shall be a harvest. I don't know the time you are in your life. I don't know the season you are in your life. But as long as you are in your night, there shall be pain. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Weeping may endure but for a night. Weeping may endure but for a night. But joy comes in the morning. I want to tell you, child of God, your situation is not permanent. Your problem is not permanent. There is a God in heaven. We don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God. He makes promises for his people. He enters into covenant with his people. He has entered into a covenant with us. He has made a promise to us. He says, as long as there shall be seed time, there shall be a harvest. There shall be a harvest. As long as you are seeding, there shall be a harvest. Receive the harvest for your seed. Receive the harvest for your seed. Meaning, it cannot be by accident. It is by divine arrangement. It is by divine arrangement. Where there is seed time, there will be a harvest. Where there is seed time, there will be a harvest. What is seed time? Seed time is a time of planning. Seed time is a time for planting. Seed time is a time for sowing. Are you a child of God? Are you a child of God? Seed time is a time for laboring. It is a time to work. It is a time whereby you are working. You are working, but you can't seem to see any results. You can't seem to see any results. You sow a seed. You can't seem to see any results. It is a time for seeding, child. It is a time for seeding, child of God. Tell it to your neighbor, say, seed time. Say, seed time is planting time. Seed time is planning time. When you are planning, it appears like there is nothing that you are doing. It appears like you are wasting your time. But everything that succeeds starts with a plan. Show me a man who does not plan. Planning. Failing to plan is planning to fail. Are you a child of God? If you want to go far, if you want to prosper in what you are doing, plan. Plan. Seed time is a time for planning. Seed time is a time for planting. Hallelujah. So it means as you are planting, don't expect something out of it. Hello? Because you are laboring. When you put a seed, when a farmer puts a seed, I was glad there's a farmer who came in today. They say they take their harvest to Chambanja. God is not a man. You have to bring a farmer for us to understand this message. You are not understanding. 
When the farmer puts their seed into the ground, they don't harvest immediately. They have to wait for harvest. And there is still work that goes into it. There is still labor that goes into it. Until we reach the harvest. But the Lord has promised us that as long as you are sitting, you will harvest. As long as you sin, you will harvest. Meaning, if you don't see it, don't expect a harvest. Hello? Yeah. If you don't see it, don't expect a harvest. Because there is nothing you are doing. There is nothing you are planting. There is nothing you are planning. There is no labor you are putting in. There is no thought you are putting in. There is no effort that you are putting in. How do you expect them to harvest? As we are here, we are not here to do magic. Are you a nature of God? There are principles to be followed. There are principles to be followed. The principle of seed time and harvest time is a kingdom principle. It's a kingdom principle. Are you a nature of God? As long as you see it, you will sow, you will reap, you will reap your harvest. What is harvest time? Harvest time is the time for reaping. Hallelujah. It is the time for reaping. It is the time when men begin to see you flourish. It is the time when people begin to recognize you. Are you a nature of God? So this one. This one. This one. Do you know a child of God? The harvest time is a time for enjoying. The harvest time is a time for comfort. Hello? Don't expect comfort when you are still in your seat. Oh, uh, you're not getting this. You're not getting this. Uh, uh, you're not getting this. Uh, Many of us today, we saw today, we want to reap the following morning. We don't allow the process. We don't allow God to work it out for us. Allow God to work it out for us. Allow the seed to germinate. Allow, Allow it to grow. It Allow it to bloom. Are you a child of God? You cannot be planted today. And then you bloom tomorrow. Are you a child of God? Are you a child of God? Allow the process. But hold on to the promise. God has promised us as long as there is seed time there will be harvest there will be harvest there will be harvest there will be harvest as long as there is seed time there will be harvest hallelujah what season are you in today? What season are you in? Ask your neighbor. What season are you in? What season are you in? What do they say? Ask them what season are you in? What season are you in? Hallelujah. Everyone is in their season. Everyone is in their season. Either you are in seed time season or you are in harvest time season. Are you in the of God? Are you in the of God? Either you are in harvest or you are in seed time. Maybe you look at your friends. 
You went to school together. Maybe you look at your friends. You're in the same church. You are church mates. You are work mates. You are school mates. It doesn't matter. You may be in the same church. Under the same anointing. But still be in different seasons but still be a different season. Some are in their season of same time. Some are in their season of harvest. So don't try to imitate someone else. Run your race in your season. Are you a child of God? Run your race in your season. If you know you are in Sick time. Why should you be comfortable? Why should you relax and be comfortable? Why should you stay in comfort? Why do you want recognition? Yet you are in your sick time. Recognition will come when the time of harvest comes. Recognition will definitely come. God is promising us that seed time and harvest they shall not cease. As long as there is seed time, there will be a harvest. Your situation is not permanent, child of God. Run your race in your season. The way you must run. The way you must do things. Don't try and imitate your neighbor. Your race is different from that of your neighbor. Your race is unique from that of your neighbor. Run your race. Don't imitate someone's season. Are you in child of God? Many people who have tried many things that didn't work for us because we tried to run someone else's race. Just because your brother is making it, maybe it is their season for harvest. You want to copy. You are still in sixth time. Hello. I want you to know, child of God. As we are here today, there is seed that has been sown. There is seed that has been sown. Do not abandon your ship because you fail to understand your season. Are you with of God? Do not abandon your ship because you fail to understand your season. Be able to recognize your season. When you can recognize your season, you will be able to trust in God. You will be able to put your trust in God. You will be able to know this is a season. It's seed time. There shall be a harvest. There shall be a harvest. There shall be a harvest. Are you a teacher of God? You can be able to recognize this is my harvest time. I shall get the best out of it. Hello? 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 Harvest time. And your teacher in their seed time. You can be a pastor and be in your harvest time. And your senior pastor be in their seed time. It doesn't make you superior. You can be 
and employees in your harvest time and your supervisor in their sick time doesn't make you superior to your boss. I will meet you of God. Have you ever seen but God of Pewiti teacher and master of the mother and master of the mother doesn't make you superior to your supervisor. Are you a of God? Are you a of God? A pastor can be more popular than their father. He doesn't make them more anointed. Are you a teacher of God? Are you a teacher of God? Are you a teacher of God? You may be in your harvest season. It does not mean look down on those who are in their seat. Hello? Mm-hmm. Respect every man who you meet. Respect every person whom you meet. Just because someone is a farmer or a vendor doesn't make you better than them. It doesn't make you Christian. It doesn't mean you are serving God better. Are you a child of God? It's just a difference in seasons. It's just a difference. You heard my daughter. She says she orders produce. And before things are not moving. But after prayer, her business is moving. She's in the season of harvest. She's in the season of harvest. And there is labor if you ask her. There is labor she has put in before. There is seed that has been sown. There is hard work that has gone in. I don't think why the work has grown up. Amen. But now I will walk as you may It is a harvest season. season. Don't despise the time of correction. Don't despise the time of seeding. Don't despise the time of laboring. Are you a teacher of God? There is a seed time. There is a harvest time. As sure as you are seeking, that is why I don't seed because I have. I seed because I trust the source. My father is the source. And it is all silver and gold that I should be. I want to tell you, child of God, you trust God at that level. You command money and it will appear. Ah, you're not getting this. In this place, we command money. We command money. Today we are going to command money. Ah. Wow. Shabbat Luka Sukado. Don't abandon the ship. Because you fail to understand the season. The Bible speaks of Hannah and Penina. They were both married. Going to the same church. Together. But Hannah was barren. Penina was giving children. Was giving birth. Penina was giving birth. And Hannah was barren. But Hannah Continued to sow seed. Continue to sow seed. Continue to sow seed. Are you being child of God? Until one day. Until one day. She had an encounter with God. She had an encounter with the servant of God. In your seed time, child of God. Continue to sow seed. For in due season. You will reap a harvest. You will reap a harvest. 
God cannot lie. God cannot be deceived. God will not allow Francis to sit and loveness na loveness to reap the harvest kuti akowe the way of job are you with our god who knows where the labor is come from mwarano zia kuri kwa bomshana the harvest goes to where the labor is come from the labor goes where the seed is come from kuone na ukune kwa kashano hello imagine papunge how unfair God would be if you were to work the whole month and then Mr. Joe just comes and gets your salary that is not our God that is not our God are you being from God he rewards you for your seed he gives you a harvest for your seed he gives you a harvest for your seed he gives you a harvest for your seed Are you with me, God? Are you with me, child of God? Are you still there? Are you still there? Today, you will harvest. You are living with the harvest. I say today, you are living with the harvest. In the name of Jesus. Let's open our Bible from Galatians chapter 6. set time and have this time we will never cease what god is saying is that set time and have this time it shall be continuous meaning when you continuously see you want to have it oh yeah i'm hearing this
Are we sowing good seeds? Are we sowing bad seeds? Because whatsoever a man sows, that you also reap. And as we are sowing good or bad, there are also two ways of sowing. Of sowing, yes. Of sowing. Uh He who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. We have spiritual seeds and we have physical seeds. Are you a child of God? Child of God. There is spiritual seed and there is physical seed. Bible says, he who sows to his flesh, meaning he who sows to his physical body, will of the flesh reap corruption. Meaning you receive something in order. Are you a child of God? Are you a child of God? But he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. The seed you sow unto God will not die. Hello? The seed you sow unto God it will not die without bringing results. But the seed you sow to your flesh, yourself, enjoyment, it will be corrupted. But the seed you sow unto God, that will bring everlasting life. It will not die. What are we sitting to? What are we sitting to? Ask the neighbor, what are you sitting to? What are you sitting to? What are you sitting to? Get yeah, this revelation. When you come with your seed here, don't say I'm giving profit. Or I'm giving to MDMI. You are not giving to MDMI. Even as you are giving unto God, that will have everlasting power. That seed will not die. It will produce results. It will produce results. The problem we have, we are throwing seeds that die. Because we sow to men. Not to God. Hello? Even if you give your pastor something, say, I am sowing unto God, not unto the man. Get this revelation. Get this revelation. Are you a child of God? Are you a child of God? You may be giving unto men, but the seed you sow unto God, you saw me sowing a seed. At the beginning of the service, I sold six hundred dollars. I will be sure of God. I sold six hundred dollars. I will be sure of God. From there, I didn't give to those people whom I gave. I was giving to God. I was giving to God. I was giving to God. I was giving what is in their hearts. What is in their minds. To me, I was giving to God. I got God when I got there. As I'm giving unto your people, I'm giving unto you. Hello? I'm giving unto you all my life. I didn't give to people. I gave to God. Are you a good child of God? Don't grow weary. In doing good. But as you are doing what you are doing, 
What you want your seed good or bad is who are you giving it to? Give him to be seen by men. Or you are giving as giving unto God. There are times when you give. And you begin to ask yourself, why, why did I give so much? The so much. Why did I do that? The moment you begin to ask yourself such a question, forget the harvest. Forget the harvest. Are you a child of God? Spiritual seed is permanent. It will not die. It continues to speak. It continues to speak. Fleshly seed is corruptible. Are you a child of God? When you sow spiritual seed, when you sow unto God, it will come to remembrance. And one day, the book of the Chronicles was opened. The book of Remembrance was opened. But what was done for this man who saved the king's life? Hello? A man was constantly at the gate. And he had saved the king's life. But nothing changed in his life. He could have gone to the king and demanded to say, King, I need a job in the army. I saved your life. I deserve a place. I deserve a recognition. But he kept quiet. He continued to be at the gate. Even after serving the king's life. Many years he was at the gate. Many years later, the book of remembrance is open. And the king asked, What happened to this man who served my life? Ah, but you know, nothing happens. Nothing was done for him. But something must be done for him. Today. I say something must be done for you today. I say something must be done for you today. There's a sin that you have sown in this place. There's a sin that you have sown in the lives of the people of God. Today is a day of harvest. Today is a day of harvest. You are harvesting in the name of Jesus. One day, David is seated in the palace and he begins to ask, Is there no one remaining from the house of Saul? Is there no one remaining from the house of Saul? Hallelujah. Amen. Is there no one remaining from the house of Saul? As David had remembered what Jonathan had done for him. Are you a of God? There is a sin that Jonathan had sown into David's life. Jonathan, David was just a sheep boy. He was just a shepherd. He was just a harpist. Like a guitarist. Like what the pastor is doing here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Jonathan, mm -hmm. the prince, mm -hmm. saved mm -hmm. the life mm -hmm. of the harpist. Mm -hmm. One day, mm -hmm. the seed, mm -hmm. the seed, mm -hmm. when harvest time comes, when harvest time comes, when harvest time comes, you'll be remembered. Say you'll be remembered. Say so the people who must remember you are remembering you after this time. They are remembering you after this time. We will not worry about waiting. They will just call you and say, we want to do cake. 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 You want to worry about standards. They will call you. We remember you of the company. Are you still operating? Are 
Evangelist, Evangelist Joyce. Aha. Uh-huh. Oh, today they are sitting in the same area. Hallelujah. Those are the three. I didn't do anything at the end of the day. My wife, we just said, okay, it's already done. Let's go and pray. We came on the altar and we began to pray. We began to intercede for this service. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember of God. Eight in the morning. Eight in the morning. Eight in the morning. So I said. And when we use 8 o'clock, I like people that are going to be Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just out of my seat. I want to say something. I'm going to say something. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When we use that, I like people that are going to be 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. I'm going to say something. Amen. Amen. It shall be well with you. I say it shall be well with you. Your seed will speak for you. Your seed shall speak for you. At the seed time, and the harvest time, they will not cease. They will not cease. After today, my daughter will release a zoto for harvest. And I'm waiting for harvest. Seek time. And the harvest. Shall not cease. They shall not cease. Don't be a Christian. Who does good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. You miss your blessing. Because maybe for me, as I got shot, you probably found a blessing. Then you miss the blessing. You miss the harvest. Amen. Many people, they have missed their harvest. Hallelujah. Amen. So, where you are today is a result of a seed. That was sown somewhere. Your present circumstance. Your present circumstance. Aha. Your present circumstance is a result of a seed that was sown. Whether it was you who sowed the seed, or it is your father who sowed the seed, or it is your grandfather who sowed the seed. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaac. Isaac. I have chairman speaking of Isaac. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 26. You are going to read Genesis 26, I believe. Isaac. Isaac. He sowed in that drought. And he reaped a hundredfold. But it was not because of his seed that God blessed him then. But God told him, for the sake of Abraham, my servant, I will bless you. Are you a of God? Because of Abraham, I will bless you. Because you are a son and a daughter in the MDMI, because you are serving in the department, I will bless you. But I started service. When I started department, join that department. Because my wife was about to go attack our place and my department. Are you me? It is not by accident. It is not by accident. I just quit to get out of it. Are you me? Many a one of my obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience child of God is better than sacrifice. And rebellion is worse than witchcraft. Uh-huh. 
Obedience is better than sacrifice. And rebellion is worse than sacrifice. I have been shut of God. I have been shut of God. I have been shut of God. Let us be obedient in the things of God. Don't wait to be cramped for you to sow a seed. Because once we pass our wheat, we're just even if you don't know what contribution you can make, just be there. What contribution can I make also here? Amen. What contribution can I make? What hand can I put? Don't wait to be cranked. Amen. Amen. So your present circumstance is a result of a seed sown. And you can change your life by the seed you sow today. A seed may be good, it can be bad. And when you do not receive results, when you are expecting them, it doesn't mean the ground is not fertile. Just follow instruction in your season. In your season. You are in fertile ground. You are in fertile ground. Just follow instruction. And according to your season, it will work for you. Say it will work for me. Say it will work for me. Say it will work for me. All things are working for my good. And a daughter asked me, I want to do business, either cosmetics, or green grocer, or green grocer, amen, om sita, amen, hallelujah, amen, what is God saying, and I said, and I said, the Lord is saying, do both. And until today, it's been more than six months, I never had a response. I never had a response. I have been child of God. In that same service, a man came from one in that same service, a man came from wine. He says, Prophet, I gave him a prophecy. He said, I'm seeing you wearing white dust coat. Are you a doctor? He says, No, I work in a lab. I said, The Lord is telling me. Go and start your own lab. In that same service, I have been shut of God. And from that same service, two weeks ago, that man sent me a message. He Prophet, we are operating in Bulawayo. Very good.
conference with that you came to me. I went and I left my job. And I began to start my own thing. He sent me photos of his laboratory. Are you teacher of God? The way you receive the word, the way you implement your prophecy. When you receive a prophecy, when we say, let us fast and pray, sow a seed. Sow a seed. Are you teacher of God? Don't be just too excited. Oh, I got a word. I need a word. So we seek for that word. We are fasting and praying. So we seek for your fasting and praying. You produce results. You produce results. You produce results. Are you teacher of God? Are you teacher of God? We are fasting and praying. When you enter the lunch box, some of you carry the lunch box with no candle. Chai is a fasting to endure. Why don't you donate that meal? It is a seed. You find Zara, you give them that meal. You sow the seed. We don't know what to do. We are holding on to that food. You are selfish. You are selfish. Then things begin to delay. You don't know why is there a delay, but they are fasted and prayed with others. And others are giving testimony. Well, others are giving testimony of the same anointing oil that you have in your home. Are you a teacher of God? Say I must testify. Say I must testify. I have received a lot of testimonies concerning the anointing oil. I've been receiving many, many testimonies. It is my prayer that those people who share those testimonies with me, they will share them themselves one day. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the son says, Prophet, you prophesied this thing. Amen. I want you to step up and the same mouth that gave you prophecy is the same anointing that gave you prophecy. The same place where you are sitting is where you are sitting. Are you a teacher of God? Where they sow the seed is where you are sowing a seed. Hallelujah. Today, I came with this envelope and I was telling the leaders we are implementing this system. The Lord spoke to me. He says, these envelopes they are for people who want to come out from comfort. Not people who are comfortable with where they are. Are you a child of God? They are for people who are saying thank you Lord for overflowing grace. If you are a business person, today you must get this envelope. Today you must get this envelope. And this envelope, I'm giving it to anyone who is sowing a seed of twenty dollars or more. Amen. Twenty dollars and less. Twenty dollars than I It's a different story. But this one, for overflows, for overflows, when you trust God, when you trust God, you'll be able to sacrifice. You'll be able to sacrifice. We say, 
Six times. Nous avons à 600, les mains bloquées. Tu parles avec nous. Aïe, oui. Nous avons raison à 600, les mains bloquées. Tu parles avec nous. Je veux payer pour les chaussures. Aïe, oui, oui. 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 Aïe, Are you still there? Are you still there? So even though those two were in the same assembly at the same day, even though those two were in the same assembly at the same day, what they did after with the word that they received it shows the difference today hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. you better get all verse 9 manangu galatians chapter 6 verse 9 she don't get to make a community of a piece of a canaka no good it's not a check and go i can find it up Hallelujah. And let us not grow weary while doing good. Hello. And Patio Peter Zakanaka. She knows that you get to meet a papita Zakanaka. Aha. Got to get to meet a papita Zakanaka. The word of God is warning us. Because it is very possible that we sow good seed. And we sow good seed. And we sow good seed. And we get tired. And we get tired. Are you Christian of God? But here, Pana is the ministry. Yes, we are here so sure. Mm. This is not how we started. Are you with me, somebody? There are people who sow the seed on end. They grew in. Are you with me, There are people who sow the seed here. And they grew in. It's very possible. They didn't see this when we were. They didn't see this land. I will reach out God. So it is possible in your life to sow seeds and sow good seeds and sow good seeds and then get tired and not get a harvest. I refuse that. Say not me. Say not me. Say not me. Say not me. You cannot sow good seeds. And then when it comes to time of harvest, and then you disappear. Then you disappear. And then you disappear. Hello. 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 Continue so you go to see. My daughter. Continue so you go to see. Continue so you go to see. And do not grow weary. Let us not grow weary while doing good. Hello. You can continue doing good. No one will ever cheat us. Doing good. 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 Ah, you are getting what I'm saying. I said you are definitely getting a habit. If it was a demon, who would go a demon in wine? A demon that only takes a while. A demon that is not able to be delivered. To go and rob and ask. A demon that is not able to be taken out. We are hitting them today. We are striking them today. Hallelujah. 
Let us not grow weary. Let us not grow tired. While doing good. For in due season. We shall reap. If we do not lose heart. If we do not lose heart. There are things that will come. Do not have words of moyo. Will they find you standing? Will they find you continuously sowing good seeds? Or you give him all of moyo? And you go backwards? Ask your neighbor. Ask your neighbor. Ask your neighbor. And what did they say? Ziriko zinowuya. Something will come. Zinowo zamoyo. Amen. What will become of you? You will not survive. Ask your neighbor. What will become of you? You will not survive. So are you the one? I know what I'm more of. Or you are the one who continues to sow good seeds. When you know your plan and purpose, when you know your seed is unto God, Father, when I have a good seed, Amen. And the prophet of Pegu. Hallelujah. Over another place, I'm moving my mind. And then you will see me blessing someone else. Over our more. Amen. So anyway, this is the rapport prophet of faith. So I give this prophet. You will have one more more. No, it's given to someone else. Are you with me, somebody? Are you with me, somebody? Amen. She really goes no other more. Amen. She really goes no other more. Amen. Are you being of God? What will become of you? Will you continue standing and doing good? Or you will backtrack and backslide? And as a result, you miss your blessing. So you may sow good seed. What was your And then you think, the time may harvest. There are demons like that. They allow you to toil. They allow you to work hard. But when it is time for harvest, they make sure you are not there for the harvest. They make sure they take you out from the place. They make sure they take you out from the position. Hello? They are spirits that are like that. The gatekeepers, they know now it is time for him to harvest. Now it is time for him to harvest. The gatekeepers, they are not going to forget. Amen. They cut off so that you don't receive. And they know, they know your weakness. We are not our master boy. Because this one is for anger issues. We are not our good master boy. But this one likes eating a lot. We are not going to pass on. That one doesn't like working. They will use that. On a shanty side of the road. On a shanty side of the road. Are you thinking about God? They will use that. On a shanty side of the road. Your witness. That's what they will use. That's what they will use. They are gatekeepers. They are gatekeepers. I want, to, I want you to know, child of God. They are gatekeepers in the spirit. They are gatekeepers in the spirit. When your blessings are coming, they know if they can see the blessings are coming. They can cause your blessings not to enter. Close the gates. Close the gates. Those are demonic gatekeepers. 
Have you been traveled? I've always told the people whom I, I travel with. I don't like police roadblocks. And if I them are roadblocks, the police. Because all they are there for is to delay you. No, it is wrong. Even in the spirit, there are roadblocks. Are you teaching of God? And police roadblocks in the spirit, they are just there to delay you. That's the same thing with physical roadblocks. All they are there for is to delay you. They will stop you two, three minutes. Are you a of God? Today, may your sins speak for you. May your sins speak for you. I said, may your sins speak for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There are spirits from your father's house. From your mother's house. Assigned to monitor you. When we begin to ask you, why, what did you do? Why were you fired? There's no reason. There is a spirit that is monitoring, that is enforcing. Go out of cross at this line. Because there is a line of limitation that is drawn. That the enemy is saying you must never cross. But let your seed speak for you today. I declare a season of harvest for you. I declare a season of harvest for you. I declare a season of harvest for you. There is a husband and a wife. They were mining gold. They were, they were only owning a gold mine. And as they were doing the work, mm-hmm. zero grams per ton. Zero grams per ton. They gave up. They said, it's better we sell off this mine. We go and buy a farm and start doing farming. Amen. Amen. They sold the farm. They sold the mine. One week later, the man they sold the mine to, he was driving a hammer. And the question was, how did you manage where we felt? Said, so, no, I just double for sure three centimeters from the Bamuda boat. So they stopped three centimeters from their breakthrough. They gave her three centimeters. There is a spirit that makes sure you give up at the point where you are supposed to have it. At the point where you are supposed to break At the point where there is supposed to be a turn around a shift in that marriage. Then you give up. In that business, then you give up. It is a spirit. Of miscarriage. It's a spirit of miscarriage. The enemy says everything you do. You must miscarry. You must miscarry. It's a spirit of miscarriage. Hey. I came with testimony. I came with testimony. I came with the testimony. I came with the prophecy for you. This is a prophecy for you. I said this is a prophecy for you. This is a prophecy for you. Welcome to your harvest season. Welcome to your harvest season. You are not ready. You are not ready. You are not ready. Are you ready? Are you ready for harvest? Are you ready for harvest? There are demonic powers 
aside to manipulate your mind, there are demonic powers aside to manipulate your destiny. Whenever you are about to reach your breakthrough, whenever you are about to reach your point of testimony, then they cause you to just react. But I declare that I declare as a servant of God. I declare that I declare as a prophet of God. And every familiar spirit, these are familiar spirits. They know you. They've been in your family for so long. They know what happens in your family. They know the land of limitation that have been put in you. Every familiar spirit working against you, speaking in your life, today, today, I stand as a prophet of God. You are testifying. You are harvesting in the name of Jesus. You are harvesting in the name of Jesus. Your season of harvest has come in the name of Jesus. They are territorial demons. They are territorial demons. In the place where you are operating from, in the place where you are doing business, they say no one in this area, no one in this region must exceed profit of this imagine. They have put a line of limitation against you. Territorial spirits in your home village. They have said no one from this family is supposed to achieve more than this. Territorial spirits in the areas where you are staying in right now. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare as a prophet of God, you shall be blessed in the city and you shall be blessed in the country. You shall be blessed in the city and you shall be blessed in the village. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Receive the blessing. Receive the harvest. Some of you, when you are about to hit a breakthrough, when you are about to reach breakthrough, sickness comes, disease comes, you begin to lose interest in what you are doing. I decree and I declare as a prophet of God, what has been sponsoring failure in your life? What has been sponsoring sickness in your life? What has been manipulating your mind to lose interest in what God has given you? When you were sowing seeds, you declare, Lord bless my business, bless me with millions, bless me with a job, bless me with a house, bless me with anointing to and zeal to pray. But when the time comes for you to break through, you lose interest. When you say it is time for fasting and prayer, because your breakthrough is in that fasting and prayer, you begin to feel weak. You begin to lose interest in fasting. I decree and I declare today what has been manipulating your destiny. What has been causing you to lose interest? What has been sputtering sickness in your life? In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and I declare. As a prophet of God. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. As you are under the influence of my voice. As you are here in this place right now. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. As you are here in this place right now. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare. 
receive the harvest. Receive the harvest. Your set time for harvest has come. Your set time for harvest has come. May your seed speak for you. May your seed speak for you. May your seed speak for you.